In less than two decades, cyberspace has radically transformed how state and non-state actors conduct modern warfare. Advances in technology have presented new challenges and threats in the cyber and space domains that require the need for our Army to identify events that degrade or destroy battlefield systems and networks in a congested and contested environment. Our Army must be able to execute counter-offensive actions to deter and defeat authoritarian goals of cyber aggressors and adversaries as outlined in the U.S. National Defense Strategy. With a diverse portfolio, the Project Manager Electronic Warfare and Cyber, PMEWNC, spans across five product management offices, which includes Product Manager Terrestrial Spectrum Warfare, Product Lead Electronic Attack, Product Manager Information Warfare, Product Manager Electronic Warfare Integration, and Product Lead Tactical Space Superiority. The PM is responsible for the development, acquisition, production, fielding, and sustainment of programs of record and quick reaction capabilities. Army Electronic Warfare and Cyber Systems are committed to a C5 ISR EW modular open suite of standards, also known as CMOS which provides interoperability through defined and open interfaces and is designed to accept emerging capabilities as technology advances in the future. Our acquisition workforce, comprised of more than 275 military and civilian professionals, has the unique and solemn responsibility of providing integrated intelligence, electronic warfare, and cyber capabilities to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum and cyberspace for a 2028 multi-domain operations capable force. The Terrestrial Spectrum Warfare Portfolio, consisting of Profit Enhanced and the Terrestrial Layer System, provide an integrated suite of ground signals intelligence, electronic warfare, and RF-enabled offensive cyber capabilities to the warfighter. They support all operational theaters through dynamic and deliberate technology development, fielding and support, enabling near real-time actionable intelligence to meet user needs. The Electronic Attack Product Office provides evolving electronic warfare capabilities that enable the Army warfighter to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum Offensive electronic attack and defensive electronic attack capabilities include multifunction electronic warfare Air Large, known as MFU Air Large, and counter radio controlled improvised explosive device electronic warfare, known as CRU. MFU Air Large is a single self contained airborne electronic warfare pod mounted onto Gray Eagle unmanned aircraft systems. Crew technology protects ground forces during mounted or dismounted operations or fixed site locations by blocking or jamming radio frequency signals intended to detonate improvised explosive devices. The Information Warfare Product Office contributes advanced offensive cyber capabilities and effects ranging from precision to area-wide against an exceptionally expansive and rapidly changing array of targets. They are bringing advances in military cyber operations to our nation's military capabilities at the speed and scale needed to fight, dominate, and win joint all-domain operational engagements in today's and tomorrow's cyber battle space. Electronic Warfare Integration synchronizes electronic warfare and spectrum management capabilities across the multi-domain operations. Its flagship product, the Electronic Warfare Planning and Management Tool, EWPMT, is the commander's tool to control, manage, and dominate the electromagnetic spectrum. It provides the ability to dynamically reprogram electronic warfare assets to target adversarial entities and execute cyber electromagnetic activities. The Tactical Space Superiority Product Office provides a tactically mobile SATCOM platform to generate, receive, monitor, analyze, and store satellite communications, 
Their enormous role in how DoD invests its limited resources to advance SATCOM capabilities going forward is greatly recognized. The product office team provides key enhancements to the U.S. military, allowing for advancements in the operational space environment and ensuring a stronger defense structure for our nation. Cyberspace's ubiquity and exponential growth is assured to continue in the near future, thus further increasing our dependence on its existence, our need to ensure its operational security, and our ability to deny our adversary the same. The Army must continue to take advantage of the cyberspace to rapidly defeat threats and maintain its freedom of maneuver and dominance on the battlefield.